Hello everyone, it's Shane Kanto, your Wasteland reviewer, and I'm here to review Young Rock, and this is the first season of this NBC show, which focuses on Dwayne Johnson running for president, being interviewed by actor Randall Park, and jumping into all these stories of when he was a kid, teenager, and college athlete. And you have, obviously, Dwayne Johnson playing himself, but you also have Adrian Grolix, Bradley Constant, and Uli Latukifu all playing Dwayne, or Dewey, over the course of his life. And you have a really great cast of actors filling out this show, playing his family with Joseph Lee Anderson playing Rocky Johnson, Stacey Liulua playing his mom, and Anna Tuisila, who plays his grandmother, which best part of the show, hands down, is his grandmother because she's a tough cookie. And she just owns every single scene she's in the show. But she, they have a loving, like a wonderful relationship with his mother who's absolutely fantastic in the show. And honestly, Anderson, who plays Rocky Johnson, really captures that energy. But also, all the actors playing Dwayne Johnson are great and really capture his essence and his energy. And then... As a pro wrestling fan, I know so many of these wrestlers that they have in this show, and the actors do such a great job, including Matthew Willig, who plays Andre the Giant, and he has some amazing moments, like going to see E.T. with Dewey when he's a kid, and that's a wonderful episode, and basically, this show is a bunch of morality tales told by Dwayne Johnson, talking about him being a kid, teenager, college student, and dealing with a bunch of different kinds of things. And, like, there's some great ones that feel like straight-up action movies, like he's in college and he's trying to fix all the phones with his teammate, trying to do, it like, a race against the clock, and there's some great action. It's filmed like a great action sequence. They're, like, hyped up on watching, like, Predator. You, the, you son of a bitch kind of thing. And... You have episodes like that. You have him ups and downs with his college football career, ups and downs with girls in high school. And, like, you see the highs and lows of his dad's career as a pro wrestler, whether he's almost winning a battle royal or getting recruited by WWF or, like, wrestling at flea markets and everything in between. And... It's just such a loving relationship that he has with his family. It's super sweet. It's endearing. These are great cast of characters. The show's endearing and legitimately funny. And, yeah, it leans into what you would expect from, like, sitcoms and in terms of, like, really putting those messages out there. But there's enough energy, wonderful characters, and great cast they have a lot of fun with, like, a big battle royal at one point in one episode. The hijinks of his grandmother's really interesting. She has no Fs to give and, you know, gets in some trouble. And the show puts some great, like, teasers for future episodes and future seasons, which is pretty cool as well. And it's an interesting framing device. Dwayne Johnson and Randall Park have great chemistry and... I was sitting here watching this show being like, I was expecting this to be really stupid, but this is endearing, it's sweet, it's humorous, it's, I think it has some really strong messages. It might not be the most nuanced or complex show, but it's something that I think is pretty special. And what they're able to do with this, and the stories that they tell, and the amazing cast all the way across, even like the actors playing all the real life pro wrestlers from... The Wild Samoans, Iron Sheik, Macho Man, and everywhere in between, I think Young Rock is a special little show. This first season definitely provides some great stories, and yeah, we've seen some of these stories in other sitcoms and stuff like that, but it has a fresh look to it, and a fun cast of characters. And I'm really looking forward to season two of Young Rock, so I was real happy when NBC greenlit this and Keenan for another season because I'm down for both. But those are my thoughts on the first season of Young Rock. Let me know what you think, and let's talk some TV. But thank you, as always, for tuning in 
supporting your Wasteland Reviewer.